November 18th, 2024. You could have changed your life and world by now. We don't want that statement to feel like a judgment, but we intended to capture your attention and plan to do so on this day. As you view your life and world today, you will be prompted to remember your importance. You agreed to live during the restructuring of your world because you wanted to evolve and the current conditions of your life and world are aiding you. We know those words may not be comforting for some, but the rest of you will find great relief and understanding when you revisit what we've given you in our Ascension Guide. None of you know who you can become or what mission you accepted, but we will tell you that you have agreed to have the one in front of you now. Every limitation you thought you possessed was an illusion, and the veil you have waited to be lifted could do so today if you can let go of who you thought you were. We asked our messenger to begin with the messages on this date since 2008, for that was another galactic shift. You are completing that now which is why we provided the guide. Not enough of you have believed in yourselves or us, but today, you will. We want you to utilize an energetic portal to reach the next level on your evolutionary journey and aid the planetary ascension. We asked our messenger to record them in a video so you could review them at your convenience. The level of consciousness you might reach is unlimited, but your participation is required, each of you. Wilhelm. November 18th, 2008. You are now and always connected to all that is, for all that is, is pure energy, and you are pure energy. It is not possible for you to disconnect from energy, however, it is possible for you to fail to recognize this truth when you bring your preconceived notions and limitations formed in the past into your moment of now. You intended to live a life of ever unfolding awareness and expansion, therefore you will not know what that is if you judge your present from the past. It is truly as simple as that. However, in your effort to have the experiential knowing of this fact, you present yourself with numerous life events and circumstances that aid you in your intended goal. Become willing to be born again in your every moment of now. Be as a child. Wilhelm November 18, 2009 There is nothing for you to figure out. There is only that which you desire to experience. When you take this approach as you go about your day, you allow all those marvelous experiences to come into your life without fear or trepidation. When you seek what you can contribute, all the right circumstances, situations, and people show up for you miraculously. It is not miraculous, but merely that you have let go of your resistance. Everything is already in place. We are simply waiting for your willingness to experience it. Doesn't that feel better? Wilhelm. November 18th, 2010. Nothing you desire is ever found outside of yourself. This concept will require some study to unleash its power to transform your physical life experience. While you may think there are particular things you desire to be, do, or have, all of them are physical, and you merely use those specific goals to experience your spiritual expansion while in physical form. This agreement applies to anything that you think you desire. The very acquisition of things or attainment of goals is only experienced by you and causes you to feel, so to speak, that very expansion. When you leave your physical form, all those things of a physical nature dissolve and what is left is your spiritually expanded being. Wilhelm. November 18th, 2011. All you ever desire is peace. As you move through your physical life experience, you think there are many different goals you are trying to achieve or accomplish. The result of all those accomplishments and achievements is a state of peace. Everything you desire manifests or occurs when you are in that state of peace. Your creativity is heightened when you are peaceful. You resist nothing that comes your way when you are in that calm state. Even the great experience of unlimited abundance can only truly be achieved when you first find that state of peace. You can't want anything else when you are peaceful. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2012. Every decision you make is the right one. Subjective words are used here to help you understand the concept's meaning and process. Right means that it leads you toward your expansion no matter your decision. It might be that you are not pleased with the result of your decision. However, you gain wisdom as a consequence, 
which always causes you to expand. You often find more of that awareness from the unpleasant decisions, for in some way you also gain the ability to make decisions in your future that will be more pleasing to you. The greater problem for you is squandering your moment of now with worry and anxiety about your decisions. Wilhelm, November 18, 2013 Guidance or communication is always available when you decide to listen to it. It is continually occurring for you but you attempt not to hear it at times. You can think of it as that still small voice inside your head. You may question where that communication comes from, but it is far more important if you follow it. You only attempt not to hear that guidance because it typically advises you to do something outside of your comfort zone or moves you into some unknown place. What you discover is that the unknown place is a greater or more evolved part of you. When you become willing to recognize this, you will not allow fear to prevent you from hearing your guidance. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2014. You create your personal reality through your thinking or the thoughts you choose to hold consistently. Most of the time, you are not completely aware of the nature of the thoughts you have been holding because they have become somewhat natural to you. You noticed last night while watching a television program that one of your first thoughts was that what you observed was not possible. Your realization of your thoughts at that moment disturbed you because you began to realize that is how you have been thinking about yourself. One of the difficulties in maturing in the physical world is not letting your experiences cause you to believe in impossibility rather than possibility. Simply because you have not done or experienced something yet does not mean it is impossible. Wilhelm, November 18, 2015. You have lived a successful life when, at the end of it, you can state with clarity, pride, and honesty, this is who I am. That is the only thing you are up to in this life and all your experiences help you accomplish that. Your difficulty up until now has been waiting for others to make that statement for you or probably even waiting for them to permit you to make that statement. This is what you and every soul are up to and as you also help others accomplish this, you do it for yourself. If everyone knew what they were up to, you would end all war and violence in your world for there would no longer be a need for it. Now you know the solution to world peace. Wilhelm, November 18, 2016. You think that the biggest difficulty in your life has been your failure to do certain things or take specific steps that you know will lead you to all your goals. However, you have chosen to overlook the most significant thing you have been doing, merely stopping yourself the biggest awareness you have in your life and continue to have is that all you need to do is stop stopping yourself. Those words strung together in that manner should be easy for you to remember. You came to this awareness when you noticed how nicely everything has lined up in your life, so to speak, providing you with everything you need to move forward so it becomes obvious that the only thing that would stop you would be you. That is both frightening and incredibly empowering for you. Now go for it. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2017. You wanted this as well. That is probably the most challenging statement to make when you find yourself in an uncomfortable situation. However, it is also the most powerful and leads you to your goal of the full experience of empowerment. You can't think that anything shows up in your life randomly where you have no part in its creation and at the same time experience empowerment what you can do is change your mind and know that what is before you is always to help you achieve your goal when you decide to embrace what is before you instead of pretending it isn't there. The answer is that you no longer want to be controlled by anything and you chose this path to accomplish that end. You are moving in the right direction. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2018. Who do you want to be today? Please examine that sentence and decide that it will be the first question you ask yourself when you arise each morning. You had difficulty this morning with this, as do all others. First, you become frustrated when you cannot answer it definitively, and there are many reasons for this. You don't want to claim who you want to be because you doubt your capabilities. Another reason is that you bring back yesterday into your now experience, bringing with it every limitation you held, 
and leaving behind all your gained wisdom and knowledge. When you commit to asking yourself that question each day, you acknowledge that you are creating yourself anew each day because you are. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2019, you were born today. We will give you something now that will stir your imagination. Many of you have been hypnotized by the phrase, I wasn't born yesterday. That phrase is one of the most restrictive ideas you could accept. The next idea we want you to contemplate is that none of you were born to be the same, as that would be counterproductive to evolution and impossible. Roger has lived a life where he continually sought new experiences that would help him discover and own who he wanted to be in this lifetime. Now, he is also blessed with the characteristic of being heavily influenced by the opinions of others. We said this in jest as you might not see it as a pleasant characteristic, but because he has it, he is pushed to find his truth because the desire of all human experience is the state of empowerment. Roger was aware of his ever-changing self and new awareness, and would often express his excitement about the new him, but he also received judgment. Others would question how he could continually be a new person. You can see that because the opinions of others also influenced him, he thought something must be wrong with him because he should have found who he wanted to be and stopped there. None of you wanted that. We will leave you to contemplate this message because you have all fallen victim to this way of thinking. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2020. You have feared your power. That sentence is not a judgment and this message will be an explanation. When we say power, it is not about physical strength but about your ability to manifest and create whatever you want. We are describing a natural state of evolution and the restructuring your world is experiencing. This message is a bit long, for it is essential we place it with another. But if you take the time to understand them together and the timing, you will find comfort. Roger is having difficulty with this transmission, for he knows it must be authentic to be effective. Like you, he has not entirely accepted his abilities and talents, but you each intended to improve upon them in this lifetime. Each of you is experiencing this now and it can feel unnerving. Many of you feel that the pandemic is the source of your fear, but we would offer that it is far more than that. Of course, stressful times cause each of you to access talents you have let lay dormant, and during this restructuring the energy is more intense, so your confusion is elevated. We will tell a story that makes all of this make sense. One person attended Roger's webinar last week, and Roger noted that he was intently focused on him throughout the presentation. They both knew an energetic connection was made. This person then scheduled a consultation that occurred yesterday. Immediately when they began, we took over and told them why they were there. Roger said he knew they were frightened as they could not explain these new sensations and thoughts and were confused about what they might do. Roger said, that is why you are here. I know I attract those who need guidance and assurance as they awaken to who they are. Then the person asked a question, and we will now speak to them directly as we feel they will read our words. You asked if you could achieve something, and we said yes. You asked because you knew we would affirm what you already knew. Now, it will be your job to offer your understanding and ever-growing awareness to others. We know this transition is challenging for many, but we will offer more assurance. In January, we told Roger what was ahead for him and intimated he would discover it soon, and this was before his awareness of the pandemic. We will post it here, for it will offer a sense of relief to some of you. You are not here accidentally, and things are progressing nicely, and you will be fine. January 15th, 2020 You are afraid of the light. We brought Roger to this quote from Plato this morning, and we will explain why. The full quote is, you can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark, but the real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. We will begin with the premise that no coincidences or accidental events occur in your life. If you do not know this or come to believe it, you become a victim in your life rather than a victor. We can be poetic at times. Here is the story. Yesterday, Roger met with his friends, whom we mentioned he hadn't seen in years. Because of this, they wanted to know about his life's journey. Roger joked and said, I will give you the cliff notes or a consolidated version. 
Even he couldn't believe all the experiences of every shape, manner, or form as he did so. When Roger returned home, he needed to finish a biography for the group he was working with. At first, he sent his work and career history, and then they asked for his accomplishments. These two experiences strung together caused him to recognize that he had been afraid of the light. Roger said, I couldn't have had this life unless I was meant to do something meaningful with it. Then, last night, a friend asked for an energy healing session as they were in excruciating pain. Roger knew he could accomplish this, but had been afraid to practice it more. He did it brilliantly. Then this morning, he picked up his program which he began creating more than four years ago and has yet to complete. Roger discovered everything we had given him, which could aid many others if he stopped being afraid of the light. That last sentence is meant for all of you, without exception. No, oh, we almost forgot. Roger and you are receiving this message on this day and it is not accidental. Figure it out. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2021. Your world is now in your hands. Each of the words we used in that sentence was meant for you. When you were born, you held a goal of what you desired to achieve. You picked the time of your birth so you could be alive now to experience the current restructuring of your world, so you might use it to your advantage to further your expansion. While the paragraph might have confused you, it will become evident. We said your world because you are the one creating it now. You always have that ability, but it is made known to you at the correct time in your evolutionary journey, and that time is now or would not be reading our words. You have never been in an accidental place, and you are beginning to believe that more due to the surge of synchronicities you have recently experienced. Yesterday, we had Roger send you a message during the middle of his day, for we felt fear and anger arising as many did not recognize the current conditions of your world. We told you this was a significant shift you had not experienced, which has caused both anger and fear. Tomorrow, during our talk, you will release more of that for yourself and your world. Your anger was coming from you because you recognized how you held yourself back and did not trust who you were. The fear was of the new unknown, but you can now create that future unknown if you decide to love yourself. We have told you that you move through your physical life experience using fear and doubt as motivators, and you could not ask for a better time than now. You have done that because you wanted to love yourself, which is the only way you will fulfill your goal and create the world you collectively want to see. If you do, you will all be fine. Wilhelm, November 18th, 2022. Please choose your new self today. Yes, you are new today, as you are alive every day, but this time in your life and world is different because you decided to live through a restructuring, the purpose of which was to cause you and your world to evolve. You were given something to bring to your world and your evolutionary journey. It would also uplift all, but holding that gift back will not aid you or others. You have held back who you could become due to a lack of belief, a normal part of ascension. We have used the synchronicity of the 2012 dates because we wanted to impress upon each of you that you have a divine plan and that nothing is happening randomly. You exist now to uplift your world by deciding to become your authentic self. You may find yourself moving in new directions, which is a part of your path and will not be the same as any other soul. You are meant to own every aspect of yourself, and that action will add to the healing of your world. That is the other reason you are alive. We hope you take yourself more seriously because you are that essential. What we provided in 2012 might make more sense now, for you always understand more in hindsight. When Wilhelm. November 18, 2023. Ascension is a choice. It is one only you can make, and you do it gradually throughout your physical life experience. It is not one that all souls will choose, but you have or would not be reading our words. You're not here accidentally, and none of your life experiences were random but arranged by you and the universe to be here now to aid in the planetary ascension. We have given you a guide and done so on particular days to ease your journey, for we knew it would be challenging. But all you must do is take the next step and that requires you to release everything old in your life and accept the new person you have become 
not because of your life experiences, but because of them. They have provided you with the framework to soar now if you ascend to your highest state of being. What we offered a year ago will resonate more today. Your involvement is your planet's ascension. Wilhelm